Hi everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about something that happened to my Chanel heart bag and Chanel's declining quality. So this is somewhat of a coincidence. Uh, so if you follow me on, let me start from the beginning. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that last night I went out with this black Chanel heart bag to dinner. I bought this bag when it came out from my sales associate and I was really excited to get it. I also got the pink one and, you know, it was a big deal. It was expensive bag. It was $5,500, I believe, before tax. And last night when I was using the bag, I went and reached for the strap and it was actually this strap, this side, and it came all the way out from the bag. Detached. <laughs> um, you can see it was attached now. I was obviously very upset, um, but my husband, you know, I looked inside the bag and on the other side, there was like a very tiny screw that had fallen inside the bag. And because I was out and didn't want to like have a broken bag, um, my husband, he took actually like a coin and screwed the screw. You can see the, let me take the sticker off. This is so gross. screwed the screw back into the bag. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but it's just a little flathead screw and screwed it back in. So today when I was getting ready, I was browsing my YouTube channel. I saw uh, Jacob made a video about this woman's Saki experience uh, who had the pink heart bag, who had the exact same thing happen and I watched her video and I watched the follow-up and it turned out that she ended up just repairing the bag herself because she can't get a replacement one um which is what I did I mean well I was out but I was also so in shock but it also seemed like an easy fix but it was just kind of upsetting for such an expensive bag to have such a simple mistake and I have a couple other heart bags um, they're down by my feet, so I'll reach down and get them. And I was ex inspecting them this morning and, you know, looking at the other side of this bag. And you'll notice for this heart bag that the whole CC rotates, like it spins. I don't know if you can see it really, if it's focusing, but this whole, like this D ring spins which I don't think it's supposed to do, and I will show you why. So this is the large black heart. This is the wallet on chain, small black heart. And this one, you can see the strap goes like this and this, but the CC doesn't spin. Like this is not rotating around. Like I can't turn it, um, at least not very easily it's like secured in place, which makes me feel like these screws are very well secured. My pink heart bag, all same thing, goes up and down, but it doesn't turn. Like I could probably force it, but I wouldn't. Let's see this one. It doesn't turn at all. Back to my black one and I have no doubts about the authenticity I don't know how was I doing it okay maybe I've like turned it too much this is the broken one though see this is like rotator cuff <laughs> and so I am worried that it could happen again you know if I'm wearing it and it turns and you know something else happens like the screw gets caught on something in the bag. It wasn't like overstuffed or anything like that. Literally, I only, I put my wallet in the front and then I only have like a phone and a lip gloss inside. So, sorry, I don't know what, it's like the day of technical difficulties. I don't know what happened there, but there was a little blip. Anyway, so I'm a little bit concerned that the problem will repeat itself with this bag. And I wanted to share that observation for any of you that have the heart bag to look out for it because something could have happened. You know, Saki was saying in her experience, she wondered like, oh, what if 
for example, like the screw flies out or you lose it or whatever, and then you definitely have to send it in for repair and you know, it has to be repaired. It can't be replaced because it's a limited bag. So for the price that we pay for these pieces, it really is disappointing. Uh, the, the quality has declined over time. You know, Jacob and several other YouTubers, uh, Fashionably Amy, have talked about issues with their 22 bag, which actually deterred me from getting it and quality and like issues with the quality of the leather. And I think at this point, you know, they're probably just producing so many bags that they can't keep up the quality with the demand. And then there's also pressure, I think, on the business to make more and more money, even though they're already making tons of money on the bag, but so much money goes into all of like, you know, Chanel runway and the advertising and the production and the design and the designers and the uh, influencers. And I'm not talking about me and I'm talking about the people that they're like giving <laughs> hundreds of thousands of dollars of product to, to market the stuff for them and create the demand. Like it is a very, it is not, you know, a super high margin business the same way that like Old Navy <laughs> is, for example. There's a lot of costs that kind of go into it. And I think they're looking to extract more and more from consumers. And, and we are kind of taking it like, I wouldn't say that because of this, like I'm not going to buy another Chanel bag or um, anything like that. But I you know, I did rethink the 22, um, and there's some advice on that on Amy's channel. She produced a video on how to pick a good one versus, you know, maybe a bag that's more likely to cause trouble. So definitely go watch that, but definitely something to be aware of and super disappointing. So I wanted to share my experience just in case it has happened to anyone here. What problems with Chanel products have you experienced, you know, in terms of quality decline? I My observation is bags like the Heart Bag, the 22, these more seasonal designs are always gonna be more flawed versus, and I'll just grab this, Timeless Classics, like this mini. Um, it is considered a Timeless Classic, at least in terms of limits. Like, at least the construction is tried and true and tested, and so, you know, that's really something to keep in mind as you go forward to selecting pieces in the future. Um, the longevity and this bag really goes with my shirt. Maybe I should wear it tonight to dinner. <laughs> um, in terms of longevity and things like that, going for a classic might be a better bet versus something like this, which really is more of an experiment. I mean, it's very cute. I'm going to continue to wear it. I'm going to try and enjoy it. Uh, but it was disappointing. And I was like, I'm normally not freaking out about things happening to my bags. You know, they're just items and they're made to be used and made to be worn and things like that. But this was kind of like eye-opening. Anyway, and then it was serendipitous, I guess, to bring it back to the very beginning that Jacob put up his video today and then I followed up and watched Saki's videos and all of the different quality issues that she's had. For me, this is maybe my first experience with like a real problem like this. And I think it is specific to this bag because like I said, the, the rotating of the CC here versus the other ones really don't turn, you would have to force it. So yeah, and part of that is due to the nature of like the handmade craftsmanship. Like I do understand that there could be flaws, but at the same time, you have to check these things. Like they can't just go out like that. So anyway, I would love to hear about your experience recently. If you've experienced any quality issues with Chanel bags, what you think about it and continue the conversation. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, like subscribe to my channel if you like these types of videos and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.